Hey, hey, this is Rich with Solus. We're going to do a basic overview on uh, your fin install. And uh, right now you're looking at a picture of a center fin and uh, you got your side fins as well. And there's a fin key in this picture too. Your center fin, they usually come in 8 to 10 inches. Um, you're a little larger there and your side fins are usually 4 to 5 inches. Uh, of course, side fins, you can have your two tabs or you'll have a solid base. The one in the picture has the two tabs there. Sometimes you'll hear this referred to FCF style and the solid tabs are uh, future styles. They're actually brand names but that's uh, kind of a common referral to some of those, uh, those fins there. The fin key there is actually a uh, Allen wrench uh, that will fit your side fins and uh, when you we're looking at the center fin there, if we focus on that, you can see towards the front, you'll see a screw and a screw plate that goes through uh, that fin. Then towards the back of it on the base, you'll see uh, a little metal pin that kind of goes through there horizontal. Uh, you'll actually use that to, to go uh, first into the board or the, the fin box. And this picture shows a th uh, three fin setup or uh, sometimes called uh, 2 plus 1 or technically it's a thruster setup there too. This is probably your most popular. Um, of course some boards you can have when you get a little bit more performance you could have a 5 fin or uh, also you could just have just the, the single fin in there too depending on what, the, what you want the board to do. Focusing on that center fin there you can see in this picture it's pulled all the way back. This will make the ride of the board um, more tight or make you track straighter. Um, you know, if you and you can actually move that all the way up, that'll make the board feel a little bit more loose. And what that means is it's uh, it can maneuver to your left or right easier. If you're flat water paddling, you know, having it all the way back might feel a little better for you. Um, of course, if you're maybe subsurfing, you know, pushing that a little bit more forward uh, gives you a little bit more maneuverability, and you might like that. But it's always good to play with it and try and, uh, you know, see, see what you like. So let's get into actually installing your fin. Uh, as I mentioned before, you got your, your screw and the screw plate. This is usually in the front of the center fin. Um, you just kind of unscrew that, screw that in. But uh, to install your fin, you want to take that out. And on that screw plate, there's a flat side and a rounder side like I'm showing here. That rounder side uh, it usually goes in first. Um, I take a fin key and just kind of put that right in there. And a horizontal uh, kind of notch in that center fin box. I kind of just like slide that right in. And there's a groove in the middle of that fin box. It actually goes from the top to the bottom of it. Um, so that fin plate doesn't actually rest on the bottom of the fin box. It's right in the middle. Like I said, it's a groove slot that allows you to slide it forward, backwards. Um, so when you put that screw in your fin, you want to take the back side of the fin with that metal pin that I mentioned that's horizontal, and that will slide right in there. And you just position your screw plate. And sometimes this can take a couple times. You just want to get an idea where you want to put your fin. Then you'll lower it down with a little bit of pressure. And then you'll go ahead and screw that and that will catch to that screw plate and you just want to get that nice and snug um, not too tight just snug snug enough where it's not going to go anywhere because you don't want to strip that screw so looking at the uh, side fin our particular fin boxes on our boards are uh, pro box USA and they actually have an angle um, insert that comes in and out most fin boxes do not have that, but you would basically put that fin in there the same way. Um, of course, you will unscrew those grub screws uh, on the side first. Um, and then when you insert that fin, you would go ahead and tighten those up. Again, not too tight because you don't want to strip the screw. And when you're loosening them too, you don't want to take them all the way out because that's a little bit of a pain. But you just want to have those a little loose um, so you can insert that side fin in there. Thanks for watching and check us out at solasupboards.com.